That's a grown one. Today we're doing some inshore saltwater fishing and we are participating in the second day of the Rocky Bear Bounty fishing tournament in Australia and I'm hooked up on a fish. All right, so this is a Jack Crevel. This is a small size Jack Crevel. We're gonna go ahead and measure him and then we're going to register him and take a picture and put him on the app online for the rest of the anglers to see um, what I caught. But there's also some fish that's blowing up over there. So we're gonna get back to fishing, we're gonna measure him and then release him. That's a grown one. That's a freight train. Yeah, it's a nice jack. We're just in the same area where we just caught that um, other Jack Crevel that I just hooked up to. And uh, we are just fishing the structure. We're also fishing the seawalls and I've got a nice seawall behind me. And we just moved over a little bit to the south and saw some fish blowing up some baits on the wall. And um, usually the seawalls are always a great spot to catch big fish. And through my live mullet out there, I actually ended up catching bait yesterday in Stewart, bringing the bait down here in Boynton Beach and um, using that bait this morning. Get the net, he's a monster. That's a monster, that's a monster. That's a 10 pounder. Woo baby. All right, I'm just take my time. I got a little bit of fray on my 30 pound. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> All right, so this is what you call a full size Jack Crevel. I would probably say what, he's about 10 pounds? Probably like an average size, about, about a 10 pound Jack Crevel. That's a good size Jack for here in shore but they do get bigger in yesterday's video. I told you guys that they get 30 pounds, close to 40 pounds. They fight like a freight train, and this guy put up a good fight. Um, so awesome fish, I, he's way better, way bigger than the fish we caught yesterday for the online tournament. So uh, this is awesome. All right, fish going back home. I'm gonna catch another one. Woo, he wants to go. Oh no. He's trying to get away from the dock. No. All right. Awesome. All right, so we just, we're fishing the seawall still. We're moving north now. And um, Brian told me to go ahead and cast my, my live mullet on the corner of the seawall. And I did that. And sure enough, just hooked up on a fish instantly as soon as my bait hit the water. And this guy's putting up a good fight. I think it's another Jack Crevel. Killing it on the Jack Crevels today. Ooh, the shark! We have changed our tactics and we did some, we're doing, now we're doing some inshore saltwater trolling and we've got all of our favorite lip divers out and we haven't really caught anything of size yet. I've just caught quite a few small jack crevals like this guy over here. Um, but we're having fun. At the end, stay tuned because I'm going to go over each tactic that we use today in order to catch these fish. Nope, got him. Fish on! He's a micro smoke. He's so cute. Chill, chill, chill. Chill, chill. I won't hurt you. All right, so I just caught this cute little snook here. This is definitely a micro snook, but hey, it's still a snook. It's our target species today. We've been just catching jacks all day, so it's actually nice to get a little bit change, a different change of pace here with this cute little snook. And um, I just tossed my mullet. Oh, they're getting busted on. I just tossed, tossed my mullet in the corner over there, and um, this snook hit my bait a few times before he actually inhaled it, and that's because he's just a little little guy. But that's okay. He's gonna grow big one day. Don't wanna hurt him, so I'm gonna release him. Measure him real quick for the app, and then I'm release him. We're wrapping up our day, and as promised, Brian is going to go over the tackle for you and explain to you what we used to catch these fish today. All right, so mainly we used live bait today, and 
I'm gonna go over to the specifics, but we have a lot of videos on a lot of this stuff. And I'm gonna put all those videos, the links in the description below so you can check out those full videos. I'm not gonna go into all the detail right now. Uh, the first thing is we use Accurate reels and tsunami rods and that was just in a video the other day we went over all that gear all the links are in the description All the links are in the description, right and we talked about our main line We talked about what leaders to use and that's all in there, too So uh, basically with the live baits we use three different methods one just free lining it one with the sometimes with the weight And then sometimes with a bobber now we use this kind of bobber It's a little split bobber goes on the line We didn't catch any fish with the bobber over two days So we kind of stopped using that after a little bit, but that those are a good option people use bobbers all the time uh, free lining is just a main line to a, a fluorocarbon leader. We used 30 pound uh, for the last two days because we're really trying to get that bite. And then just, just to a circle hook, a must add circle hook. Uh, size depends on the bait and of course we have videos on that. Darcy likes to use a, a loop knot. I like to snell them. You know, it's pretty much, I guess, whatever you prefer. Uh, they both work. So to free lining the baits, go ahead. And the reason why I like the loop knot is because you kind of have a double leader here. So when you are fishing for snook and you are fishing for jacks, they have those rough mouths. And if they get hooked kind of inside their mouth, they're just going to fray, they're going to go right through your 30 pound if you fight them for a little bit. So it's always good to have a loop knot and you always can have like a little double line right here. And that way you have like double the protection from a fish breaking off. So that's why I like to use that inshore. Right. And a lot of charter captains we fish with recommend that. I like the snell knot because uh, theoretically helps it helps the hook, hook uh, the snow <laughs> help the circle knot hook better but whatever uh, and the last way we do is with the weight sometimes that's when you want to get the bait underneath the schools or a little bit deeper uh, you know just to try different different uh, water columns and with that we just take a little this is about a, a quarter quarter ounce weight and you put believe it or not you just put the line through it loop it around and then back through so then you know it's really simple it kind of makes it a little bit adjustable you can move it around a little bit uh, so your fish can swim and I, it sounds like the line would break at a leader but um there's a little tip we learned from uh, a, a, a local captain and it works i caught a bunch of snook and some fish over the weekend and, and you know, it doesn't break the line or free the line and so that's how we so that's how we do the live bait when you actually put the live bait on the hook you can hook them through the nose Plane. loud plane sorry uh, or you can hook them through the tail and that affects how they swim depending on what bait it is and we have a video on that too of course uh, so that's mainly what we did. We also did a little bit of trolling. And here's the lures we used. I, I took some pictures of them for you. And they're all great Yuzuri lures. We also used one uh, gambler lure, just with a must-add jig head. And I only caught one little fish on that gambler. Uh, you know, it's not really supposed to troll soft plastic too much, but I wanted to try it out. The thing swam great and, uh, and caught a fish. We have an entire uh, how to inshore troll video that we've done. And, and again, of course, the link will be in the description. And uh, that's it really for the tackle that we used and what we did. And back to the sizzle. Okay, so we'll be back once again tomorrow with another video and it'll be more on the daily life of Brian and I. So stay tuned for that. We're not going to, I'm pretty sure we're not going to be doing any no, fishing No, we tomorrow, fished three days in a row. But you never know. <laughs> things might change. Who knows? But um, anyways, so if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And also keep in mind, I do now. I now have a PO box, so I'm accepting fan mail from you guys. And I would love to do an unboxing on video and actually mention you guys and you know give you guys credit on camera. That would be awesome. So if you would like to send me something, feel free to send me something. It could be a picture, you know, it could be a letter, whatever you feel you would like to send me. Go ahead. Um, and if you, as long as you like, don't tell me, don't put this on video, then it won't be on video. Um, so I mean, it will be on video. So um, keep that in mind once again everything is in the description so check that out all of our gears in the description too uh, so subscribe to our channel we have new videos almost every single day and until our next adventure follow your dream and keep on catching